The FBI is investigating that destructive cyber attack at Sony Pictures. The Bureau is now warning other companies they could be next. Justice correspondent Bob Orr has the latest. Sources say the cyber attack on Sony Pictures used an especially aggressive malware capable of erasing hard drives and crashing computer networks. Hackers calling themselves the Guardians of Peace stole the personal information of more than 6,000 Sony employees and four unreleased Sony films were posted to the internet. Now investigators are wondering if the attack might be retaliation for another upcoming Sony movie, The Interview, a comedy in which TV reporters are recruited to assassinate North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. You want us to kill the leader of North Korea? Yes. What? Now investigators wonder if the plot of that movie may have triggered retaliation against Sony. Sources say the malware code is written in Korean and North Korean hackers have used a similar cyber weapon before in a 2013 attack on banks and broadcasters in South Korea. This signals a new capability for North Korea. Cyber analyst James Lewis says the use of malicious software that can destroy data is an escalation on the cyber front. Most of the breaches are uh, smash and grab. So if the North Koreans did indeed uh, erase data, that's a step up. That's uh, more like an attack than what we've seen in the past. And Lewis says that kind of damage can be permanent if companies like Sony don't routinely back up sensitive files. My lesson is, you know, if you're going to make fun of the dear leader, um, maybe you should think twice if you don't have backups. Now, the FBI has not publicly identified North Korea as a suspect in the case, but, Scott, federal investigators are sharing information about the malware with other companies and urging them to immediately tighten cyber defenses. Bob Orr in the Washington newsroom tonight. Bob, thanks very much.